Hey, hi, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Nikki read that. Today, I am actually doing a book tag that I was tagged in. Can you guys believe it? My first book tag tag. I was tagged by Reading with Jess. I will link her down below in the description. And I am tagged to do the reread, rewrite, or burn book tag. Now, I don't know if you guys have played Boink, Mary Kill before, but this is the same concept. You're given three options. In this case, it's three books. And you have to decide which book you would reread, which you would rewrite or which you would burn of the three. I have chosen to choose books that I've read in the last few months so they aren't from way back. They are part of series in here that I haven't finished yet. I am going to just state off the bat that I am not going to be tagging anyone. If you are wanting to do this one again, if you've never done it before, consider yourself tagged and we'll just get into it now. I need three. Okay, so we are starting off with The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, Obsidio by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, the third in the Illuminae Files series that I finished today. Review on that coming up soon. And Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. Oh, wow. Golly. I would probably burn... I think I would burn The Fault in Our Stars. I've read it twice and I've watched the movie. It is a great story. It's wonderful. It's great. Now rereading it back, I just didn't feel like it touched my heart the same way it did the first time I read it. So I feel like I've maxed out on that and I think I'm gonna burn it. I would probably rewrite Bird Box only because I feel like there are some things I would like to have seen in it. It was wonderful. I loved it. But I feel like there were some things that I would change or move around. There were some parts that I felt were too gruesome for no reason and I would take those parts out. So that's what I would do. And I would reread Obsidio because I literally just finished it and I want to reread the series right now. One, two, three. Next, The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren, Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, and The Somerset Girls by Lori Foster, which was an arc I read towards the beginning of the year. I'm going to say Burn the Somerset Girls by Lori Foster. I mean, it's a great story. I actually think I rated it about three and a half or four stars. I thought it was a solid book. It was captivating. It was sweet. There was a romance. There was sisterly bond, which I'm obsessed with. But of the two remaining, I feel like I would burn that one. The Unhoneymooners I would reread. There was nothing about the Unhoneymooners that I didn't like. It's my first romance that I felt handled the things that I like the best. Like I liked that they still had arguments and fought but that they handled it in a mature way with communication. I thought that that was chef's kiss amazing. And Turtles All the Way Down I would rewrite. I would rewrite certain sections of it. I thought it was great. I don't have the ailments that the main character had. I believe she has OCD but she also suffers from anxiety and I felt that John Green's way of describing the anxiety was spot on. I can't speak to the OCD part but I felt that there were great parts of that representation in there. The things I would rewrite would probably just be her friend character. I didn't really like her at all. I thought she was kind of pointless and so I feel like I'd give her a little bit more depth. Okay. Carval by Stephanie Garber. The Girl I Used to Know by Tracy Garvis Graves. And Crushing It by Lorelai Parker. Crushing It by Lorelai Parker is another arc I read toward the beginning of the year. Gosh, this one's a little harder. Only because, well, I guess maybe not. The Girl I Used to Know, I think I would reread. I feel like there are a lot of elements in that book that I would like to consume again and take my time with it this time. I read that book for a book group competition we did towards the beginning of the year. And I would like to go back through it and get more out of it I think this next time. I would burn Crushing It by Lorelai Parker only because it's about a gamer and she has some severe social anxieties and public speaking anxieties. She has this traumatic event happen to her where she has to, like it ruined her with public speaking. Like she has zero confidence in herself. She's a very successful person. She runs a gaming company and she's a genius. She has to present this new game at this conference and she is so nervous about it. She doesn't want to do it. She has 
has this public speaking fear. And so she is encouraged to enter herself into a poetry or open mic situation competition where she reads from her diary and she doesn't realize that this boy that she was obsessed with in high school is actually in the competition as well and she speaks very deeply about her feelings about him from high school time frame. So I thought it was well done but I feel like I would burn it. And that would leave a rewrite of Caraval. And I don't know what I would change about it. I feel like maybe I would move it along a little faster. Of course the atmosphere is beautiful and I feel like everything was important in there but I think I would kind of snip some stuff out and kind of make it a little bit more go go go. Okay so I have the next three. Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, The Hating Game by Sally Thorne, and The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. So I am burning The Hating Game. I absolutely, unpopular opinion, I did not like The Hating Game. I thought it was straight trash. I could not stand it. I hated every second of it. So I would definitely burn it. I would reread The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas because I thought it was absolutely brilliant. I am not going to tell you what I rated it because that will be in my wrap up. I just read it. Amazing. Important. So that would make me rewrite Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, which there are some things that I would rewrite in Peter Pan. I can't say what those things are off the top of my head, but while I was reading it this year for the first time, I just felt that some stuff needed to change in there. That one was pretty easy. Whew. The Hating Game was a little bit of a, an easy one. After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Oh, I love that one. What Lies Between Us by John Mars. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. And Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Oh no. <sighs> okay, I would reread Little Women by Louisa May Alcott because I absolutely love that book. I love the movie, I love the book. I love all of it, all of it. I can't wait to reread it. I marked the shit out of it. I would rewrite After I Do. I would would, I love the story so much. I think I would just add more to after the big uh, come together again. I would add more to that because it just was beautiful. And What Lies Between Us, I would burn. Only because I already read it and I don't feel I'm going to ever reread it. It was a lot and I, I'm i okay with not rereading it. So I've experienced what I need to experience out of that book. Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. Annalise by David Gillum. And Mallory by Josh Mallerman. Oh, Mallory is the second book after Bird Box. And I just recently read it and I thought it was so, so good. So I think I'm gonna burn Annalise by by David Gillum because I just don't feel like I'd ever reread that book. I've experienced it for the first time. It was beautiful. It's a retelling of Anne Frank and if she would have survived the Holocaust and like what that would have looked like, what she would have done, how she would have handled all of that trauma. It was beautiful, but I'd burn it compared to these two. Mallory, I would reread. Yes, I would reread Mallory by Josh Mallerman. It was great. I loved it. I didn't know if he would be able to expand off of what has already happened in Bird Box, but he did and he did it beautifully. It was great. And I would rewrite Clap When You Land. I think I would just add more to the story. It was beautiful. It was stunning. It was important. I would just add more to it. I just wanted it to be longer. It ended, I felt so quickly because I was so immersed in all of it and I just wanted it to go on forever. Next three, A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid, and You and Me and Us by Allison Hammer, which was another arc that I read. I think I would burn A Court of Mist and Fury. I'm sorry. I have told you guys that I have struggled to get through that series for quite some time. And of these two, I just feel like it is the most forgettable. You and Me and Us was an arc that I read and I thought it was beautiful. It's about this family and the father is suffering from cancer and it's their final hoorah before he passes away. And I thought it was beautifully written. I couldn't get enough of it. So I think I would rewrite that, but I would make him survive the cancer. Like, I would have him not die. I think that was the hardest part about it. And Daisy Jones and the Six, I would reread. Boom. I liked that book. Plus, I listened to the audiobook with it, and I thought that was such a great way to consume it. It was so good. Full cast of characters. It was good. Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. The Perfect Wife by Blake Pierce. And Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. I think I would burn The Perfect Wife. It was kind of forgettable. I know that there were plot twists and turns that I didn't see coming, and I did 
did appreciate those. But if I wouldn't have looked onto my Goodreads when I was doing my wrap up, I probably would have forgotten that I read it. So that tells you that. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, I feel that I would reread only because Home Before Dark by Riley Sager scared me so bad. It was my first paranormal thriller, horror, whatever, and it messed me up. So I would probably rewrite that and make it not so scary. <laughs> But it did its job. It was amazing. I liked being spooked by it, but I read it when I was like by myself a lot of the day. So it was kind of scary. Didn't really know what to do about that. Gemina by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. <laughs> Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. And Romance Book Club by Lissa K. Adams. Of these, I would burn Pride and Prejudice. I would reread Gemina. And I would rewrite the Bromance Book Club. Not change anything. I'd add more to the Bromance Book Club. Club. But I've heard that the sequel, Undercover Bromance, I think, isn't as good. So I would just make that change to where they put other things into the Bromance Book Club, but they didn't have to make a sequel. Last ones. Five Feet Apart by Rachel Lippincott. No Exit by Taylor Adams. Ooh. And Illuminate by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Can you sense a theme? So I feel like I would burn Five Feet Apart by Rachel Lippincott only because I don't ever feel like I would reread that ever. I, f I watched the film, I read the book, and I felt that they were both pretty accurate. Like, I mean, not accurate. I felt like the movie followed the book very closely. I watched the movie first and I felt like it was cute. It just wasn't anything that I would choose to reread. I would reread Illuminae. No, I would rewrite Illuminae and I would just add more to the story because it was amazing, a billion stars. And I would reread No Exit by Taylor Adams. I really love this thriller. It's about a girl who she finds herself at a truck stop and she's, she gets snowed in with some other people and a, something goes down. And so it's kind of like this isolated mystery of like who done it and you have to not necessarily trust everybody but you kind of have to trust somebody. Um, she ends up finding a captured young girl in a van and she has to figure out a how to get her out and b who did it and who to trust and how to get out of that situation herself so i thought that was so 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 good but i feel like the second time i read it i'm going to notice a lot more things about it and i think that that'll just add to the intensity of the story now that i kind of know it already happens i like to reread and kind of immerse myself a little bit more into that and that does it that's it i hope this was entertaining i hope it made sense i I hope I didn't offend anybody about the books I would burn. I have never done this tag before and I thought it was so fun and I'd like to redo it once I have more books that I have read to add to the pile. Thank you guys for watching. If you really did like this, please like and subscribe down below. Comment about the books that you have read, what you would have changed, if there's something you wouldn't have burned but burned instead. Let me know what those are in the comments and I'll get back to you guys. And as always, enjoy yourselves and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!